Let's go to Chicago, where the mayor wants to raise property taxes to help fill the city's budget gap. Grady Trimble's there. But before we get into what they're going to spend the money on, what happened to the $2 billion the city received from the government for COVID relief? Well, the mayor's planning to spend some of that as well, Stuart. $385 million from the American Rescue Plan to help fill this massive budget shortfall. That's on top of the $76.5 million property tax increase. And that's actually a modest increase as far as Chicago budgets go. But taxpayers start to have some questions once they look at some of the proposals in this budget. For example, universal basic income, $500 per month month to 5,000 of the poorest households here in Chicago. The total price tag on that, $31.5 million. The problem is that wish list of new programs is being propped up by all that federal aid. And that uh, funding dries up, the city will be forced to either take those programs away from people who are now relying on them or hike taxes. As Chicago grapples with rampant crime, the budget also calls for an increase in police funding by about $200 million. That might upset some far-left activists who have been calling for the past year and a half or so uh, to defund the police. But as far as a balanced budget goes, uh, it is balanced this time around thanks to that windfall from the federal government. But the folks at the Illinois Policy Institute say until the city gets a handle on its, uh, its uh, pension burden, then and they're not going to be able to balance a budget and services are just going to keep going down and down while taxes keep going up, Stu. That's the pension problem that's shared by a variety of states in America today. Grady, good stuff. Thank you, sir.